I ain't gonna let nobody turn me around, turn me around, turn me around. I ain't gonna let nobody turn me around. I'm gonna keep on walking, keep on talking, learning about black history. <laughs> Wow, I guess that sums it up in one word, it's just wow, it was amazing. I take for granted walking in the front door of a store or being able to eat in a restaurant with everybody else, being able to vote. You take for granted the struggle that came beforehand. It's history that involves every sense that you have. Your emotions get involved. You get to put your hands in the water where Rosa Parks had her hands. So it involves so much more than just what you're gonna read. The four day trip is still manifesting in my soul right now. Seeing the pictures from 1965 and being able to walk across the Edmund Pettus Bridge with my classmates and for us to be in a multicultural classroom and everyone embracing the moment was just the most invigorating time that I can even imagine. Every time I get a chance to voice my opinion about the events that led up to Bloody Sunday, I do. Going to Selma, you literally get to put yourself in the things that you're learning. And to me, that makes history come alive. A lot of people my age and younger are not aware of all of the brutality that happened in the South. It was personal and emotional and in some ways quite inspirational. Words can't express what we experience in Selma. It just can't. You have to experience it for yourself to even understand. To actually walk across a bridge that people had walked across just to make things better for my generation. And I never thought that I would live to see the day that I walked across the actual bridge that Dr. Martin Luther King and the Freedom Fighters walked across in order to help us get the right to vote. You don't get that experience but once in a lifetime. This trip was a call to action for me. It sparked something in me to actually see the firsthand account, to see Mrs. Juanita Abernathy and Dr. Reese speak and just tell you stories about what happened. It just makes you realize how easy it is now. It's humbling. I want to be a teacher, so I, one day I'd like to be able to take students down there myself. I would like to go back every year that I possibly can. It's very powerful because now we bear witness. We've met these people. We heard their stories firsthand. And now we carry those with us. It's real. It's, it's not just pictures and words. It's human beings. We got to meet people who were attacked on Bloody Sunday and people who marched with Dr. King. Everything that you thought you knew, you realize there's just so much more. There's much more impact when you actually get to meet those people than when you just sit there and read about it or hear about it. Living history, what we, what we took part in is unbelievable and I have so much respect and I learned so much in five days. It's unbelievable. It's, this class is a mandatory. I like the fact that they put the Civil Rights Museum with the Slavery Museum. It's almost like a progression. This is where it all began and then you see the timeline on the wall. You pass the timeline and you go to the Civil Rights Museum and you see the hangings, the pictures of people. And you walk back out so you're back in the real world and it makes it feel like history is a lie. Being in Selma, Alabama it made me feel like I was reliving history. Everybody can go down there and see that everybody played a role. This is everybody's experience. Selma teaches everybody that this movement, the Civil Rights Movement, is not just based on black people, or it wasn't just worn by black people. It had a lot to do with white people and people from the South as well as the North. You think one way about the world and then when you actually experience it, it's something completely different. It just made me open my eyes to where the world was. It's definitely a life-changing experience. It'll uh, make you see things that you never really saw before or didn't realize that you were seeing them. It's a long struggle and we've got a long way to go. I think we've come a certain distance. I think there's more that we could do to get further down the road with it, but I guess it's all in time. I had my reservations at first. I didn't think I'd be as open as I am, but when you're discussing topics like that, you have to be able to become comfortable with people. It's a good place to be able to open dialogue and conversation. 
I was definitely not a history person before this class, but it's opened up my eyes and I like knowing now. Even if it's good or bad, it's better to know than not to know and be able to form your own opinion. It makes me want to read different books and read the protagonist and the antagonist side just so I can form my own opinion on it. It was awesome. This is the best class I've ever taken in three years of college. You got to see things from someone else's eyes and I thought that was an important part of the experience. Just walking down the street in Selma made me realize how real the civil rights movement is and how important it is even in my life because Kelvin turns to me and says, they did this so that me and you could walk down the street together. And that's when it hit me that the civil rights movement, if it wouldn't have come about, I wouldn't have been able to walk down the street with my best friend. I uh, walked into this class knowing only one other student in the class and I walked out with a family. I have no doubt in my mind that this class has brought me so much closer to my community and my, my fellow classmates. When I was 10 years old, I didn't understand what Emmett Till had been through. But when you stand in the Southern Poverty Law Museum and you, you actually see what happened, it's a completely different world. The hate groups that are still in existence today, we got home from the trip and actually looked at the actual map and realized that there's an established hate group 20 minutes from my house. It put a, a more personal level on it with me because there was a lot of stuff I couldn't identify with. I've lived a pretty privileged life in comparison. That was something that I could hold on to that I can understand because it's real to me. Actually, I'm still overwhelmed from everything, the whole experience. And I actually returned here with a different outlook. It was like a strength, it was a healing, empowerment, and I really felt the hurt. I felt their dedication to wanting their freedom of vote or just freedom in general. It was like, wow, the experience is just overwhelming. It's inspiring. <laughs> When you go on a trip like this, you get to learn that just because the color of your skin is different doesn't mean that it's something that should divide you, but it's really something that should unite you. No matter what the situation is, if you still happen to be the only Asian person on the trip the whole time, you gotta see past that and be like, we're all just people here, and this is what college is about. It's about going to school and putting yourself in a situation where you never thought that you would ever be in and taking away something from it. In the 21st century, you don't actually know what they've been through. You don't actually know the beatings that they had to take. You don't actually know about drinking from a different water fountain or not using the same bathroom, being dehumanized. We don't know about that because we were there. So just actually having them there to tell us, it just opens my mind to how good I have it now. When I usually talk about it to somebody else, it'll bring a tear to my eye. I felt like I was walking with them when they was walking in 1965. That's what touched me, that march.